Welcome back. November is Lung Cancer Awareness Month. Smoking is the number one cause of lung cancer. And smoking is so addictive, it's difficult to quit. But Jersey Matters' Kimberly Kravitz introduces us now to a New Jersey woman who kicked the habit and changed her life. Kimberly. Lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer death worldwide, and a huge contributor of that problem is smoking. We spoke with one New Jersey woman who decided to kick the habit altogether before it was too late. I mean, you know, this is an investment into your health. 53-year-old Natasha Wyatt Johnson of Whiting, New Jersey, took her final cigarette this past October, but it wasn't to save herself from a lung cancer diagnosis. I was having weight loss surgery. I was a good candidate for it, and that was one of the requirements, quit smoking. Dr. Thomas Bauer, chairman of surgery at Jersey Shore University Medical Center, says that your appointment would be canceled if nicotine was detected before any surgery. Any list of surgeries that you can come up with, the risks of complications are much less if you stop smoking. Uh, ideally a month uh, before surgery, but you know, at least two weeks. Natasha, a smoker for over 40 years, has tried to kick the habit before, but this time she thinks it will stick. There are plenty of times when uh, I could be a pack a day smoker, a half a pack a smoker, or just, uh, you know, go around to the Chinese store and get some Lucy's. Now that um, I'm done with the surgery, I just, I don't, I don't have any desire for it at all. And it certainly has been easier on her pocketbook. You know, I have like new co-pays I didn't have before that I've got to deal with. And so if I was smoking, I'd probably be wondering where I'd get the money from. But I'm kind of just like letting that go to that. You know what I mean? The air in the house, absolutely fresher. But she couldn't have done it without the help of Scott Carroll, a tobacco treatment specialist who held her hand through the entire process. A lot of it is because a lot of people have tried to quit, sometimes millions of times, you know, and, 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 and the really big challenge with, with nicotine is that nicotine is one of the hardest ones to quit. Like it's harder than alcohol, it's harder than cocaine, it's harder than heroin and opiates. So just think, if it were easier to quit smoking, how many people would not be battling against cancer? About 90% of all lung cancer is caused uh, by smoking. Uh, that obviously doesn't guarantee that if you smoke, you will get lung cancer. Like, you know, so they're getting rid of 7,000 toxins going into their system every time they let a cigarette. Smoking also, besides lung cancer, causes many other cancers, kidney cancer, pancreatic, uh, a number of cancers are at a much higher incidence than those that smoke. Thankfully, in Natasha's case, she chose to make this decision, and she didn't have to due to a diagnosis. You know, because it's a voluntary surgery, an elective surgery, you know, I want to give my body the best opportunity possible to heal without having any type of roadblocks and, you know, you're going to have your normal hurdles anyway, so why add that, you know? Health experts suggest that if you are unable to quit smoking, they recommend a screening, as that can save an estimated 24,000 lives each year. Reporting from Lakewood for Jersey Matters, I'm Kimberly Kravitz. All right, thanks, Kimberly. My commentary is next.